All right, hello everybody, and welcome to another one of my videos where I go over the different product options that I offer for my fine art prints on my website, show you what they look like in real life, um, tell you some of the positives and the negatives, and help you make the best decision for your display, whether at home or in your business. In this video, we're going to look at the canvas print option. Um, and I'll show you one right here real quick. So this is a 12 by 18 inch canvas print. And I'll kind of set that down and talk you through what these are like. Um, these are printed directly on canvas. So it has a little bit of a textured finish. It can make the photograph look a little like a painting just because that's what uh, art medium people are used to seeing on canvas as paintings. So especially for a photo like this, where people have often made the comment, oh wow, it looks so much like a painting, I thought, well, that might fit really well on canvas. So I made this canvas print of this photo, which is one of my most popular as well. This is a finished product option, like the a lot of the other products that I offer. When you get this, this will be ready to go straight onto your wall. It is a little bit of a unique appearance. Not everybody has seen photographs printed on canvas before, although they have been kind of out there and about for over a decade now, I would say, since I started seeing them. So they're definitely out there, but still not everybody has seen that. Um, one of the options is how you get the edges made. So these are one and a half inch thick uh, stretcher frames that I'm getting these made on by my local supplier here in Longmont. Highest quality, archival quality canvas. Um, the wood in the stretcher frame inside is recycled wood, so responsible sourcing there. Um, but as I was mentioning, there's some options as to how you get the edges of this printed, and I offer this straight on my website as you make your order. So you might kind of notice this one has what is called the mirrored edge where they kind of mirror the edge of the photo and wrap that around the edge of the picture. If you don't like that, if you would prefer a solid color on the outside of the picture, I have that option through my ordering system as well. At no, no separate cost, it costs the same either way, so it's just whichever way you would prefer to do that. You can get it however you like, straight through your order. As far as mounting these, this one has a couple different options and like my other finished products, it comes with all the hardware you need. You'll notice this one has the wire hanger on the inside of the stretcher frame and there's kind of a solid backing in there behind the canvas too to help keep it nice and tight. It also has the cleat style. so. This piece here, it's kind of upside down from how you would put it on your wall, but you would take this piece here that's taped on, flip it over, flip it over, and screw it into your wall, and then that will stick out a little bit and allow this piece that's attached to the top of the canvas to kind of set right on top of there and be pretty solid as well. So you have your wire hanger, you have your metal cleat option for, for putting it up on your wall. So that is the canvas print. So I've mentioned some of the positives of that. It's finished product, ready to go. You don't have to do anything with it. But there is some, it's also not very reflective. That Even though it has that textured surface, there's a coating that goes over the print on the canvas, acid-free coating to protect the print, the ink there on the canvas and it's a little bit reflective. You can see a little bit of a reflection from my, from my bright LED light over there, but if you're in a situation where you're worried about reflections in your display, you know, this could be a really great option for that because it's not super reflective. Some downsides to canvas prints. Um, one major one that I would say, the, probably the highest downside, is, is this. Just because it's a textured surface and the way the ink bonds to the canvas, you're gonna wanna be really, really careful with that with your display. So if it's something you're gonna be handling a lot, moving around a lot, taking up and down, 
what can happen is you can get chips if there's if it comes in contact with something if you bump it on something pretty hard if you drop it if it falls on the floor on a hard surface some of that ink may get chipped off just from the nature of it and I have some older ones here from when I lived in Chattanooga that I can show you that now these I made with a local vendor in Chattanooga made very high quality um, but this is just kind of a hazard of a canvas print so I'll show you this one and I'll show you this one you know if you're familiar with Chattanooga you might recognize these city scenes both of these at this point are about 10 years old so you can see even the, the ink print on the canvas from a archival standpoint these look pretty much as good as new it holds up well over time so I have a ton of confidence in that but from the impact standpoint like I was talking about and I'll try and get these a little closer up to the camera so you can see what I'm talking about um, you may notice right here there's some ink that is chipped off of this one from from rubbing and from from contact on stuff so that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about some of that ink getting damaged and flaking off or chipping off it's just something that can happen with the canvas um, I'll show you on this one kind of the same thing this one it's more on an edge point so that edge point probably rubbed on something at some point but trying to hold it up to the camera the best way you can see some of that ink there has has flaked off over time from from damage I don't know if it was dropped or if it's just from rubbing on something else but that's definitely something that can happen there's another similar thing on this edge up here at the top where some of that ink is flaked off there and again this is not a defect of the manufacturing when I got them they were not like that they looked brand new um, that's just from handling over time I don't know like I said both of these are at least 10 years old now so I don't know if it was handling moving out here to Colorado and bringing these with me and maybe some some rubbing and transport as I brought them out here I don't know but it's just something that that can happen so if that's something you're worried about the canvas finished product may not be for you but if you think it's something I'm going to get it I'm going to put it up on my wall I'm rarely going to touch it except maybe to clean it up a little bit probably won't be a problem for you um, these are the I'll go back to my newer one that it was made here by my supplier here in Colorado this one I've probably had for oh, a few months now I would say since I had it made and this one is not showing any of that kind of damage I've definitely been more careful with handling it just from my experience with canvas prints so you can be careful with it and not see some of that damage that I was showing in some of those older ones it is a moisture resistant coating that's on there so if you're going to clean it you can you know use like a damp cloth or something like that to clean it and you're not going to hurt it that way um, definitely ultraviolet light resistant so you can put it on display anywhere in your house from that standpoint it's not going to fade it's it's going to last i mean you saw some of those other ones that are 10 years old they're not faded at all so definitely nothing to worry about from that standpoint for the quality of product that i'm giving you so that is the canvas print if you have any further questions about that that i haven't answered feel free to drop me an email or leave something in the contact section on my website i also have a facebook messenger chat tool on my website or if you want to give me a call um, do a video call on facetime or zoom or something like that i can definitely help you through the process and answer any questions you might have so thank you for watching